What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Social Academics, where we make tech make sense. If you're studying for a CompTIA Network Plus exam, this video is going to help you lock in three major topics that you must understand before you sit down for the test. We're going to break down IP addressing, network devices, and troubleshooting methodology, not just what they mean, but how you can actually show up in the real world and apply them in IT. So grab your notes, open up your study guide, and let's get into it. Let's start with IP addressing. Easy one of the most fundamental topics on the exam. An IP address is like a home address, but for a device on your network. Every computer, phone, printer, and server needs one to communicate. With IPv4, the format looks like 192.168.1.10. It's made up with numbers separated by dots, each ranging from 0 to 255. IPv4 addresses are 30 two bits long, which gives us around 4 billion possible addresses. With the explosion of internet connected devices, that supply is starting to run out. That's where IPv6 comes in. It uses 128 bits and looks something like 2001-0DB885A3-8A2E0370-7334. It's much longer and written in hexadecimal, but it allows trillions of unique addresses. Now, one area people trip on the exam is private versus public IP ranges. Private IPs are reverse for use inside your local network, like your home Wi-Fi. They're not reachable from the internet. These ranges include 10.000, 10 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Ask the user what's happening, when it started, and anything changed recently. Example, a user says, I can't print. Ask questions like, can you print from another app or is the printer online? Number two, establish a theory of probable cause. Based on symptoms, guess what might be wrong? Maybe the printer is offline or there's driver's issues not installed. Number three, test your theory. Try printing a test page or pinging the printer's IP address. If your theory is wrong, go back and rethink and replant. Number four, establish a plan of action. Decide how you fix it. Maybe you'll reinstall the printer or restart the print spooler service. Number five, implement the solution. Go ahead and make the fix, but do it carefully, especially if in production environment. And number six, Verify full system functionality. Once it's working, make sure everything still works. Don't just assume the issue was resolved and confirm with the user. Number seven, document the findings. Write down what the problem was, what fixed it, and any lessons learned. That documentation saves you time in the future or helps the next tech who fixes the same issue and they can go back and read your documentation on how to fix this issue. Here's a real world example. You're a network technician and a user says they can't access the company's shared drive. You try to plug this file server and get no reply. You check their IP configuration and realize the computer has an IP in the wrong subnet. You correct the IP verify they can access the drive and note the fix in your documentation the textbook troubleshooting is done right that's textbook troubleshooting done right so to recap if you understand how ip addressing works you can identify what each network device does and know how to walk through the troubleshooting process step by step you already had the most people walk into network plex exam don't just memorize the definitions learn how to apply them in real life if this helped you out drop a like comment network plus grind below subscribe Subscribe for more videos to help you get your A plus network plus certification. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you go to socialacademics.com, cop the next best stock tees. See you guys in the next one. I love you out, man.